Seven three-pointers went up, only one went through, and now Golden State is nearly through in the NBA playoffs. Steph Curry suspect shooting last night, just part of the reason San Antonio cruised to a 109-91 victory in Game 5 of their series. The Warriors, though, they need to get right and get real real quick. Game 6 tomorrow night in Oakland, where the home team and the home fans have seen Curry's wondrous stroke all season long. John Brinkus, ESPN Sports Science, brought to you by new Jockey Sport. Break down what makes Steph Curry so special. This season, Steph Curry made more threes than any player in NBA history. And this postseason, his play has been the story of the playoffs. Here's a breakdown of the smoothest shooter in the NBA. Dribbling at more than 10 miles per hour, Curry can stop and set his feet for a jump shot in just a third of a second. And with virtually no wasted motion, his jumper is efficient and repeatable. His forearm is always within five degrees of vertical, and he consistently releases the ball as he's rising six hundredths of a second before the apex of his jump. On a three-point shot, Curry typically releases the ball between 50 and 55 degrees. At just 6'3", four inches shorter than the NBA average, not only does this higher trajectory help him shoot over taller defenders, it also creates a larger target at the other end of the parabola. Compared to a flatter 45-degree release, Curry's ball approaches the rim at a steeper angle, which essentially increases the area the ball could pass through the hoop by 19%. But the most incredible part of Curry's shot is his quick release. After picking up his dribble, Curry can get off a shot in as little as four tenths of a second, about the same amount of time it takes the ball to rotate once on the way to the basket. And it's the quickest release we've ever analyzed. In fact, in the amount of time an average NBA shooter releases the ball, Curry's shot is already airborne 12 feet above the court. To put Curry's sharpshooting in perspective, this season, his amazing corner three shooting percentage of nearly 53% was about the same as his percentage in the restricted area right around the basket. For ESPN Sports Science, I'm John Brinkus.